Did you know that the fastest way to increase your conversion rate has nothing to do with your site design? It's got nothing to do with the color of your button. It's got nothing to do with how many credit card icons you have on there. It's got nothing to do with the way the site looks. It's got to do with how many product reviews that you have on your store. The more product reviews, the more trust, the more credibility, and the more likeliness your customers are to buy from you. Take Amazon as an example. Their site doesn't look all that crash hot, does it? It's actually pretty boring, but where they focus on is product reviews, and it's one of the ways that different sellers can compete against other sellers by giving a great product and great service and making sure that they review the product. If we take a look at this example here, if I was looking for a ring light as an example, I can see this one here has 10,000 reviews. These lights have 615 reviews. Uh, what else have we got? We look at all these different reviews. This one has 38. I'm not gonna click this. I'm gonna click the one that has the most reviews. And I'm gonna look in there and I'm gonna read the reviews to find out what customers think about this product. At the end of the day, people buy from people and they also buy when other people are buying the same product. So if we're getting reviews on our product pages, then it shows our potential customers that we're selling the product and it's a great product. It means that they're not the one trying and testing the product first, that other people have been there and done it before them so they can be super confident in making a decision to buy that product. So in today's video, I wanna take you behind the scenes of one of my stores and give you the exact method that we use right down to the exact text that we use to increase the amount of reviews that we get from every sale that we put out there. These reviews are coming in thick and thin and we're able to put them on our product pages so that we increase the conversion rates. And there's been a direct correlation with the amount of reviews that we've got and the increase in the conversion rate that we have on our store, which in turn turns into more sales. This is an example of my store here. This is one of the products we sell. And as you can see, it's got 44 reviews and these stars are super powerful. If we scroll down a little bit, we can also see that we summarize all the reviews here with the amount of stars and we can see the majority of the stars that we get are over 4.95. So we're almost getting a whole heap of five star reviews. Plus we're getting all the comments about the product as well. So having reviews on our store has been an absolute game changer for our business. My name's Brendan Gillen and I've been working in e-commerce for over 15 years. I work as an e-commerce coach and I run a number of my own very successful online stores like the one I just showed you. I work directly with e-commerce entrepreneurs just like you to teach them the tips and the tricks that I put on my stores so they can apply it to theirs so they can grow their store to $10,000 a month or more. Now to capture reviews on your store, we're going to need to use an app. A lot of stores do come out of the box with a product reviews app. I know WooCommerce has one and Shopify has one. The only problem with these is they're really limited and the strategy that I'm gonna teach you today, we need a little bit more flexibility so that we can make sure we're really hammering down and getting as many reviews as possible. Now the app we use is called Judge Me. It's a really cool app. It works on both WooCommerce and Shopify and many other e-commerce platforms and it's relatively cheap. In fact, they've even got a free version. We're going to need to use the paid version to do some of the things we're doing today, but if you just wanna do a really basic version of capturing reviews, Judge Me is great. Now, just to let you know, I don't get any money from Judge Me. I just think it's an amazing tool and it's fantastic value for money for capturing reviews. But before we get into the tool, I'm gonna to take you through the process and the strategy that we use and the psychology that we use to get more and more reviews. Now, typically when e-commerce stores ask for reviews, they just send out an email and they say, please review our product. Now, what is in it for the customer to leave that review? There's really not anything in particular. So it's just a little bit of work for them and they get nothing in return. So what we need to do is we want to incentivize them to leave a review with us. Now, what a lot of stores do that are incentivizing is they might just give a voucher for someone that leaves a review. And in my opinion, that's a little bit boring and it means that it's a very transactional exchange. We wanna make sure that when we're asking a review that we get a really authentic, detailed and positive review, we can use it on our store to increase our conversion rates. So the method that we use is we use the prize method. And what that means is that anyone that leaves a review throughout a certain month goes into the draw to win a prize. This is different from giving away a voucher because what happens is they're not guaranteed to win the incentive, which means they're actually gonna put a little bit more effort to leave the review because they think if they leave a more detailed review, they've got a better chance of winning, even though it's just a lucky draw. So we're gonna take you through the exact wording that we use in our emails to get those reviews, how we incentivize them, and then how we do the draw so that you can put it directly into your store. 
So let's now jump into Judge Me and I'll show you how it's set up in my store. Once you're in Judge Me, I want you to go over to the left and click Settings. Now there's a couple of settings that we need to set up here. The first one is the timing of the review that we send out. Now this is really important because if we send the review out before the person has received the product, they're gonna be a little bit upset. And I have done this in the past and I've sent them the review and they have said, well, I'd love to review the product, but I haven't received it yet. So what we need to do is make sure they've received the product before we send the review. And luckily Judge Me shows us how to do this. So within Judge Me, there's a section here which is called Timing and Format. We wanna click that and it's gonna bring us to this page here. As we scroll down, we're going to see something called request timing, and this is where we need to fill in the days and times. So this is gonna be different for every store because different stores have different timings of shipping. So as an example, we're shipping mainly within Australia and our shipping times aren't that great. Not like the US, not like the UK. It can take a week sometimes to get things delivered because we're such a big country. So what we do is we send a review request out 10 days after the order has been fulfilled. So it's not when the order has been placed, it's when it's been fulfilled. So it gives it time to leave the warehouse and get to the customer's address. So we would fill that out just here, 10 days. Now, if we're shipping internationally, for us, because internationally is just the same sort of speed, we will also do 10 days there. The other part of this is when we send a reminder. So we're going to send a first review request asking for a review. And then if they haven't filled that request out, we're gonna send a reminder about five days later. So we wanna give them time to actually use the product. Now we set ours at 10 days. Sometimes our deliveries take between five and seven and setting it at 10 means they've got a couple of days to actually use the product. If we send it at 20 or 30 days, sometimes actually forget about it and they won't get a chance to use it. So we wanna get it when they're really hot and really happy that they've received that product. So go ahead now and fill this in to the days that you want it to be. So once that's done, we now want to go into the email templates and change the language and the way we're gonna ask for these reviews. So we're gonna go up again, we're gonna click email templates and we're gonna click the emails dashboard. Now in here, it's gonna bring you the default email templates that we see in Judge Me. Now I want you to go into your active ones and click this little edit template. Now, if you're using the free version of Judge Me, you're gonna get very limited editing in here. We're using the paid plan. I think it's called the awesome plan and it just gives you full flexibility of the things we're gonna to do today. So now that we're in here, I'm gonna show you the most important parts of this review request to get the most reviews possible. Uh, the first one is the subject line. As you can see, it's completely different to a normal review subject line. Normal review subjects line saying, I hope you like X product. You know, leave a review for X product. It's really boring and it just doesn't cut through in emails. People get so many emails throughout the day. We wanna be able to cut through these emails so that they do actually leave a review. So the subject line is exceptionally important. So in here, we've written win a $50 gift card. Okay, so that is the hook. That's what's gonna get people in just for letting us know what you think. All right, so that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna increase the open rates of the email and people are gonna be curious about how they're gonna win this $50 gift card. Now this is the second most important part and it's the content of the email. Now I'm gonna read you exactly what we've got here and you can copy and paste this and put it directly in your email. We've tested it and tried it and it works so well. So this is it. It says, hey John, thanks for shopping with us recently. So we're acknowledging that he shopped with us. We hope you are loving your product, okay, so in this case, it is some Muay Thai shorts uh, that you purchased from us recently, and could you spare a minute to tell us what you think? As a way of saying thank you, after you submit your review, you'll be automatically entered into the draw to win a $50 gift card to spend at Fight Here Direct, and a winner is drawn every month. So what we're doing there is we're acknowledging that they bought from us, we have recognized the product they've bought, and we've said, we just wanna say thanks for leaving a review for us, and we're gonna put you in the draw to win this prize. So that sort of wording has worked really, really well for us and we're getting a great submission rate on our reviews. Now the third most important thing, and this is why we love Judge Me, is this one has the review stars and the submission within the email. What this means is the customer doesn't need to go to your store, find the stars, click the stars, fill out the form. They can just do it all within the email and it's super quick. We've reduced the friction of placing a review. Really, really important. Now the fourth important thing here is our follow-ups. So let's just say they get this email, they don't leave a review. We wanna remind them that there is still a prize waiting. So in Judge Me, we can see here is another subject line. So this is the first reminder that they get if they haven't left a review and we've kept it super simple, last chance to win. Now, I don't know about you, but if I got a last chance to win in my inbox, I'd open it up straight away. So this is one of those subject lines that increases your open rate. Now with this, 
body content doesn't change and it really doesn't need to because we talk about exactly what the competition is in there with the last chance to win. So all they're doing here is they're just changing the subject line and we're sending the exact same email. Now, if they don't place a review right now, uh, we're gonna send another email five days later and this will be the last one. And this one is one of those more boring, simple subject lines. So if the competition doesn't attract them with the subject lines, this is the old school version. But what we've done a little bit differently is we've personalized it. So now what we say is by a first name, so this will say, hey John, have you tried your product? So this is a little bit more personal and hopefully it helps them open their subject line. So by using this exact strategy, we've been able to increase the amount of reviews we get and we've been able to increase the conversion rates and we've been able to increase the amount of orders that we have on our store. We've also made sure that the reviews that we get are much more authentic, customers trust us, our store's much more credible and customers are super, super happy. I hope that you found this video really useful. I wanna see you put it in your store, set up reviews and get those review stars on your product pages.